Hello, so today we will be solving this problem called the restaurant customers. So we will be given uh, the arrival and leaving times of n customers in a restaurant and we need to find the maximum numbers of customers that were there at the same time. So for example here, we have three customers. The first one came at 5 and left at 8, the second one at 2 and left at 4, and the third one came at 3 and left at 9. And at moment 3, we had two customers present at the uh, restaurant, which are the second and third customer. So let's think about this problem. In the example we have, we had uh, three customers. The first one came between five and eight. The second one between two and four. The third one between three and nine. So if this is the axis of time, then this would represent the time for each one. So let's say this is five. So the first one came between five and eight. And the second one came between 2 and 4, so there is no overlap between these two. So 2 and 4. And finally, the third one came from between 3 and 9. So as you can see, there is an overlap of 1 here, and there is an overlap of 1 here. And Besides these two points, there is no point where we have uh, three customers, so the answer would be two in this case. But how can we find this? So if we think about it, this point, whenever there is a starting point, it means that a customer is added. So there is an implicit plus one here. And here as well. So whenever a new customer comes, uh, he brings with him a plus one which signifies that a new customer has come and when they leave there is an implicit minus one that goes with it so if we process our values in this direction and keep track of this value so we're gonna start with like audience is equal to zero at the beginning and then the first thing it's gonna encounter is this one so at this point it's gonna be one then at this point it's gonna be two this minus one will bring it back to one then this plus one will pop it up again to two then we have this minus one so back to one and this minus one back to zero so we started at zero and ended at zero, which makes sense because any customer that comes has to go. And this, this, um, this way we proceeded gives us the actual number of customers at each moment after each event. And from this, we can see that the maximum is two. So what we can do is just create a vector of events which is going to be a vector of pair of int int and for each customer each customer will generate two events so he will generate uh, with his starting value he's going to generate an event of type start plus one and another event of type and minus one and if we just sort this this vector and process it, we would find the answer. So for our example here, our vector would contain the following. So you will have 5 plus 1, 8 minus 1, 2 plus 1, 4 minus 1, 3 plus 1, and 9 minus, uh, sorry. 3, 1 and 9 minus 1 and if we sort it we're gonna get the following so the first value would be 2, 1 then 3, 1 then 4 minus 1 
5 1, 8 minus 1, and 9 minus 1. And if we just uh, process this uh, vector as we mentioned, then uh, the accumulated values would be the following. So we'll start with 0. This would be 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, and 0. And each time we update our maximum. So this is pretty much it. Let's check out the code. So this is our problem. We'll start by reading the input, then we will declare a vector of pairs of ints which will contain our events and then we will process, we will process n uh, clients. For each client we will scan the start and the end of their visit and we will push them into our vector of events. The start with a plus one and the uh, end with a min minus one. Then we will sort our vector and uh, we will declare two variables. This is the actual number of customers as, at this point and this is the maximum customers at any given time. And we will initialize both of them with zero. Then we will go through all our events and for each event if it has, we will keep updating the actual customers with the, the type of the event. So actual customer plus equal events dot second. So plus one or minus one accordingly. And then each time we update the maximum. And that's it. And at the end, we just print the answer. So let's submit that. So that worked. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.